Jackie Gunn is, is, a, is a fascinating character in Las Vegas history. Uh, you know, he grew up in Omaha, Nebraska. And when you think, when you hear that, you know, oh, this guy became a major gambling operator in Las Vegas. He grew up in Omaha, Nebraska. Your first thought might be, oh, he must have been some kind of an innocent farm boy. But that's not, in fact, what Jackie was doing. He was an urban kid, and he was working in gambling parlors, uh, what uh, the fronts of which typically in Omaha were cigar shops. And it was a family business, family trade. And so Jackie learned the business very early. During the war, uh, Jackie was stationed in Tonopah, about 200 miles north of Las Vegas uh, for the Army Air Corps. He would make visits to Las Vegas while he was serving. And so he got a taste for the city and what was happening here, the Flamingo and the El Cortez undoubtedly and the Fremont Street and all the different casinos that were starting to arrive on the scene. And then he went back to Omaha after the war, but then his, what his mentor, Eddie Barrick, and he says, Jackie, you gotta get, leave Omaha and come out here and I'll get you a piece of the Flamingo. And he buys 3% of the Flamingo Hotel. Uh, he worked as a floorman there, uh, but he was also a part owner. There's a show in the, there's a showroom, and he puts him in, the, the, there's a center booth called the King's Row. And he goes to the Mater D, it was Jack, by the name of Jack Dennison. He puts him into the, puts this guy into the, this, this couple into the King's Row, the center booth. And Jack Dennison says, no, no, you, you got to see Davy Berman. I can't do it. Davy Berman is the only one. Hey, listen, I'm an owner here. Put these people in this booth. So he puts them in the booth. The next day, this Davy Berman gets a hold of Jackie. He, and he was one of the owners of the El Cortez at the time, you know, before they built the Flamingo. And he says, hey, listen, guys like you are a dime a dozen. Mater D's are hard to find. So Jackie quit. Jackie quit. And he went down town and bought the Saratoga race book and opened up a race book downtown. He, he still had ownership of the Flamingo, but he quit the job. All during the 50s, Jackie is learning the business in Las Vegas. Uh, he's investing in, in properties. And this all leads him to purchasing the El Cortez along with some partners in 1963. And then from there, Jackie bought the uh, Las Vegas Club. And then in 63, bought the El Cort this place, the El Cortez. And, and uh, you know, goes from there. And then he had the Plaza, the Western, the Gold Spike. Showboat, all these places. And the El Cortez became home base for Jackie for years to come.